Friday, Palestinian activists from the village of Beilin succeeded in tearing down a section of the segregation wall. The village marked five years of weekly protests against the Israeli fence that separates them from lands confiscated for the expansion of the Modin elite settlement. Thousands of activists from the Palestinian territories, Israel and various other countries came to show their support for the march. Before the weekly march to the fence started, in a rare appearance, Palestinian Prime Minister Salem Fayyad spoke in support of the popular resistance and later welcomed the protesters in English. Yes, thank you so very much for being with us here today, from all over the world, including Israel. You're most welcome. We are really grateful to you, not, for, not just for appearing here today, but also for all that you have done over the years, week in and week out taking part in these nonviolent, peaceful expressions of protestation and demonstration, certainly against the war and against the Israeli settlement enterprise, but also, positively speaking, in support of our relentless effort, our right, our right to live on our own land as free people in a country of our own. That is what this enterprise is, is about, really. The weekly protests celebrated a success in 2007, when the Israeli Supreme Court ruled in their favor. Modin Elite is a Jewish-only colony situated just on the other side of the Green Line that marks the 1967 borders. Its expansion confiscates 575 acres, or roughly half of the village's lands, including hundreds of acres from neighboring villages, in the hopes that final status negotiations would reroute the Green Line to include settlements adjacent to it. The three-judge panel, headed by Chief Justice Dorit Beinich, unanimously accepted the village's appeal and ruled that the fence did not serve a security purpose. The protests continued because the army did not begin laying down the tracks for rerouting the fence until last week. During the weekly protests, soldiers shot one man to death and injured dozens in their attempt to disperse the crowds using rubber and live ammunition. On Friday's demonstration, the army spread the protesters with liquid made to smell like feces and sewage and fired dozens of tear gas canisters and shot grenades. The village was informed by the military that only 60% of the lands taken from them will be returned when the fence will finally be rerouted. The organizers vowed to continue protesting until their lands are fully returned.